Hi everyone, it's Miss Johnson. This is So You Want to Understand CSS. So I'm going to talk a little bit about, in general, how CSS is written. We're going to look at it, examine it, think about it a little bit, and then see how it works. So, I have two documents here. I have my HTML file, and I have my .css file right here. Let's look at, let's focus on the .css file for right now. And let's just take a moment, pause the video, see if you can notice anything. What patterns do you see? What things look familiar? With CSS, we always start with what's called a selector. So what this is doing is when the computer reads a CSS file, it's going to say, oh, header one. That goes with this HTML tag. So whatever's in between these curly brackets in the sandwich, I'm going to put this all to whatever header ones I find. So every header one will have the font family times new roman and the color blue because it says header one right here whereas all the paragraphs will have this color because that's what's in between their curly brackets i also noticed that there's always an opening and closing curly bracket it's kind of like our opening and closing tags in html so this is containing all the styling for header one I also notice that it's always these parts of it inside are always written something colon something semicolon. This is called a property, so it's telling you have to first tell the CSS here's what you're going to change, and then you're telling it here's what I want you to change it to. You're going to change the font, change it to Times New Roman. You're going to change the color, you're going to change it to blue. You're going to change the color. You're going to change it to this hexadecimal color, which is green. I'm also noticing that my HTML and my CSS are separate. The way they're connected is through this tag. Equals link rel style sheet href demo.css. Also noticing that my file is called demo.css. Whenever you use external CSS, it always looks like this. Internal CSS is in the header between style tags. And it's written the exact same way. This is internal. I wouldn't need that sheet at all. I wouldn't need this either. This is external. Let's see if it works. I'm going to save this and open it up. My header one blue, paragraphs green. Hopefully that helps a little bit. If you want to know any more specifics about internal versus external or want more practice with it, go check out the class recordings.